Hello, hello, good morning chat, how are you? Welcome on Thursday stream, where we continue reading. Oh my, how long we've been reading this book. And finally, finally, we're getting closer to the end. Which button was it? I didn't stream in a week and I already forget which button is this. Hi chat. Yes, sure. I'm too low. So, uh, hi yellow, welcome. Other people as well. Also, I got a new water bottle. This way I don't have to run for water every five seconds. Of course, tea is ready. Tea is something I won't forget. <laughs> All right, now the f about things that we forgot is what we did. Oh yeah, killer piece. All right, that's what we've done. Um, <laughs> all right. So we were talking about killer pieces. Uh, we were talking about wider topic, which is the path to Tsume. Um, we said that calculating move by one move, you know, to the win is good, but not practical. We said that <clears throat> more practical is knowing the win conditions. We had this one example here. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, we talked about the road, like actual road to Tsume. First you need to make a checkmate thread, then you have to, like before that you have to make one move to checkmate check, to thread mate. Um, then we had this example and we had this win condition. Oh, if we have the horse, we're going to win. In this case, uh, it's a, I mean, a bishop, a horse. This is our killer piece. If we if we only have that piece, we're going to win, right? So this piece becomes our targets. And we went quite aggressively, pushed it away, extended our king life. And then it gained us a move, uh, meaning that even without the bishop, we were able to win the speed battle. They had no other option, either give us the bishop or lose the speed battle. Now here we have this similar, we had similar situation where uh, the king was here, right? Um, and we needed knight, silver, gold, or bishop to finish this king off. And look at the enemy's hand. Uh, they have only lands that wouldn't be our win condition. So we used this amazing rook job that was necessary also to protect our king from checkmate. Uh, and we forced them to drop something or escape with the gold which again, either gives us the killer piece or gives us time to win. <clears throat> and that's where we finished, I guess. And yeah, okay, so what conf confused me is how do I explain that move in an easier manner? Um, so it's like, a, a once more, it's like a trap card, like choose one, either you give me a piece or you give me the turn, yeah? We force them to make this decision. And the base of that is the theory behind the killer piece, yeah? This is the piece that we need. Therefore, this trap card is working. Okay. So it's not strictly Kobo, right? Kobo was very similar. It was like attacking, defending, which gave us additional move. Killer piece like just gives us additional move because they're binded by the win conditions. I my brain still doesn't accept that properly, so I'm trying to explain it to myself as well. But hey, hi Krona, hi streamer, hi uh, watcher, viewer. <laughs> hi random viewer, how are you today? Okay, we will have another example. Uh, let's see. So, of course, we try to look at the enemy king first, and we see that um, we have only lands in hand. So, our fastest attack would be lands drop, um, and it would be one, two moves to win. Now, what about our king? Yeah, what do they have? 
Okay, actually, they're not talking about our king yet. They're saying that even if we drop the lands, they're gonna early escape. Making their life infinite, right? Because no way we're gonna capture them after that. Um, now, we might drop the lands here and then promote here. But it's one move slower, as you see. It's, it's, it's one two three yeah this was one two uh i'm fine thanks i'll have to rewatch the vote because i need to be at places in an hour all right thank you for jumping in and hopefully to see you in the offline version not like i can chat with you then but <laughs> anyway when we drop the lands they're going to put the token down here. And because the rook is pinned, um, next we take the rook, drop the rook, and it's a checkmate, right? So they are 1, 2. We are 1, 2, 3. So we are one move behind, yeah? So. Um, okay. What did we learn? So attacking moves. That we just considered. Our land drop for two. That leads to king escaping. Land drop seven six leads to one move loss. Yep. So what do we do now? Yeah. Anything else is also kind of um, one move loss, it says. So the correct move here will be this one. Why is silver a good move? So again, our theory is killer piece. What is our killer piece? Well, if we had a bishop, we can draw bishop free free, right? Here. And this would be a checkmate. Or bishop two four, it doesn't matter. Bishop four two would be escaping, right? Anything around here would be a checkmate. So once we have the bishop, we are winning. On top of that, if we take their horse, our king at the same time becomes safer. So it becomes kind of bodyguard killer. I don't know if it makes sense. So it's kind of a cobo idea. Um, so... Um, okay. This is really complex what they're trying to say. Okay, so what they're saying, remember how we were counting? We were counting one, two. In this case, silver four, six, leading to silver taking the three, seven, is also two moves to mate. So it's one, two, three, same as the lens. One, two, three. But the difference between the lens and the silver is that we delete the enemy attacking piece. Yeah. So difference. Uh, king safety. So the silver kind of does more to our position. Even though it feels like it's further away from the enemy king, it kind of does two things at once. Yeah. So now I need to translate this kanji because I don't understand it.
total commitment to instead of total commitment to the attack with lance which uh, was two moves to mate this approach has more value the silver approach has more value and yeah this 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 value um this logic we have to learn it we have to be aware of this logic in the end game yeah we would think attack is attack attack is faster but actually once we step back over here paradoxically that's faster <laughs> it's kind of what makes shogi shogi yeah it's very very uh, unique to this game Okay, so the under the diagram says once we have the bishop, bishop free free is checkmate. Um, <clears throat> and silver itself, that move, this allows talking 3 8, which is this move, or horse 4 8, uh, because it gives us killer piece, right? And the only other option they might have is to escape the horse. Um, they give example of here. In that case, we simply make a check and take off the horse. Now, if we want the horse to survive and we put it here, this time we slow them down and Lance 7 6 is faster. Because notice we played this move for free, kinda. We slow them down and then. Uh, this was their fastest attack, it doesn't work anymore, yeah? It's in time. All right, now I'm gonna try the next example. I'm gonna try to hide the answer, actually. Uh, let's try to solve it together. So we have bishop in hand, which is barely visible. Okay. Good morning, Bennett. Fancy arrows. <laughs> hey, yeah, hey, yeah, Viredin. I thought, oh no, it's hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yo. This is an evolution. Evolution. Oh, guys, did I show you my new ring? Rose gold, or whatever it's called in English. I don't know if you can see it. It has like those teeth in it, like small engraving. No, you cannot see it. No, you cannot see it. But it has like, like if this is the ring, it has like those. How do I show it? If this is the ring, it has like those. Caros in it, which makes sense because I'm Caro as well, but I mean, those are like holes in it, basically, but like makes it a little bit spiky <laughs> in a way. Okay. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. All right. The problem, right? Uh, the distraction the being distraction, but um. I need to translate the title of this chapter because it's a new subchapter and uh, say is it Seyaku? Seyaku. Limitation, conditions, constraints. So maybe it means condition. We're gonna see. Okay, so this is the question, it's fine. It says that there is a new technique that you need to do in case something something and that in case something something i cannot translate yet uh to this to take a killer piece so most of kp or uh should again appearance appearance to make appear so you need to create a condition, I guess. Condition, what was the other translation of that word? Limitation, restriction, constraint. Uh, 
Okay, let's figure it out with the example. So the question is, God is king. There is no way we can make a checkmate threat on it. The attack is two moves to mate. Yeah? Which move is the best here? No checkmate threat. Fastest is to the move, but how? Yeah. This might be difficult because we don't know which technique to use yet. Um, they say simply 6-2 might be too quick, too easy, too simple. Dot, 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 and it continues on the next page. So for example, two moves to mate would be one, two, that's two moves to mate, yeah? And three would be mate. Is it two moves to mate? I'm confused right now. What was our definition, two moves? No, it's need, need to ski. One to ski is sumero. Need to ski is, I guess it's like one, two, that would be the fastest, but this would be one, two, three. Anyway, any ideas, guys? How to bite this one? Something about killer bees as well. So this is very difficult looking. Bishop drop 6-3 is Viradin's idea. What are we threatening? We are still kind of retaining uh, talking next, right? Sacrificing the dragon is a little bit not enough. Sacrificing the bishop for the knight is also a little bit not enough. But I agree, like, the adding the piece to the board seems like a good idea. Okay, should I quickly check? Okay, so they're not talking about uh, that move first. They're telling us why talking is bad. So why talking is bad? It seems winning, right? It's one, two, three. Um... Turns out there's a magical move, which is gold draw 7, 8, right in front of our silver. And that causes center to lose. In this situation, what happens? Gote is in Zetto. So they're in unmatable shape. Yeah, we, we have no way to create a check. Zetto means like no mate, in this case, even no check. Even, yeah, we, we have no ability to force the check. Um, this is the biggest problem. There is no way we can target an enemy king. Therefore, um, the killer piece and so on like won't appear. So as an effect of Zetto, no killer piece possible.
Tabu. It's a tabu. So don't allow enemy to to attack freely. Yeah, that's the biggest thing here. Because they have no fear, right? Their king is in Zeta, they're safe forever. And they sacrifice a whole gold, yeah. Um, in this case, they say... Like, if we were to take the gold, they're gonna drop the silver, silver takes, gold takes, king takes, dragon check. Um, and they have two generals, so it's like... Checkmate. Um, if they were to take the gold, we drop the silver below, they drop the gold that we've gotten, but then gold drop from their side, just, you know, take all the space. It's itate, so no defense. Drop where he wants to drop. <laughs> well, that's what you would think, but if you drop your bishop, Mikal, in this position, um, we're gonna run out of attacking power, right? If that's what you mean. Here we definitely need an attacking move, but we need something that will enable our killer piece theory. So, knowing that this is a great move for Gote, it kind of gives us an idea about what killer piece may be. Indeed, the best move here is the one pointed out by Vieredin. Uh, bishop drops 6-3. So, it, we clearly now see the difference between Bishop and Tolkien, right? Because we can do check. And that power will be very, very important because now the Zetto doesn't apply as strongly at least because we can take the knight and of course next talking 6-2 is gonna be checkmate threat it's kind of same but different right you guys understand yeah in in this position we also could have dropped the bishop it just matters that we keep the checking options the move before um Castle you had some Lorenzo could they send the queen? So now now the question is what if they do the same trick, right? The gold drop here. Because they need to create checkmate thread before we do checkmate thread. Uh, just a side note, if Gote were to defend by a silver drop, we just promote the bishop here. So, Gote is in hurry. Let's say gold drop 7-8, what happens? So we, we we see that if silver escapes, it was checkmate. Let's say we take the gold, they drop the silver. So this gold is in our hand. And this silver is on the board, right? What changes then? It's a question to the chat. Mikkel says, 
we can take with check now and drop when opponents want to drop. Nope. So we have a god. Guys, you disappoint me. <laughs> we have a gold in hand, yes. Let, let me make it easier for you. <laughs> Not a very subtle hint, but... What changes in our attacking situation when we have a gold in hand? Gold 8-8 eight, eight is defensive move again. It's Sume! Yes, it is. It is Sume, exactly. So because we have the gold... <laughs> Um, maybe, maybe I should set up this. Yeah, so currently we have one gold, but once they drop that silver there, it's our turn. We take the knight, and then let's say they take with the gold, then we take it and we have two gold. So gold, gold, right? That's step one. Step two is if they take with the king, we drop the gold first, they run, then we take the gold and we drop the gold. Listen, it's almost 1 a.m. here. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. You got it. Even though it's 1 a.m. You got it. You got it, Viradin. Okay. So the clear conclusion is this. Um, gold in hand equals Tsume. Right? And center has one move win. So what did we learn? Um, I don't like this Japanese word. We have to create our own. So what did we learn? We learned that... Um, first, make a shape with possible checks. Then create killer piece. Hello, Melkor. Hello. All right. And this is our condition. I don't like this word. I guess we have to come up with something better. Restriction, limitation, constraint. Condition. Uh, okay, that's our con let's start. Let's go with that simply. We already talked that this is our condition in here, right? So this is the condition for killer piece. If it's like one step back, if it makes sense. Condition for killer piece, I guess. Like, okay, how do you read that? Oh my god, hey, yeah, hey, yeah. I, I have no idea. It sounded like Indian joke, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Indian dance, the rain dance. So many definitions. Yeah, this is the theory book after all. That's what we're doing. We're creating the history of Shogi theory right now. Or a new shogi theory. We're crafting it. You guys are part of history right now. Car By the way, Caro has been... Uh, okay, this is going to be a huge change of topic. But Caro bought this, right? Caro was showing that Caro bought the Kurzgesagt um, um, like support package. And they gave me the habit journal. I mean, I chose it. Um... And Cairo has been working on the habit of working on the book. And Cairo started two days ago. 
uh, okay, so the way it works first, you create a routine with a trigger and then you repeat it and then you think what should, should you change and then you create a habit which makes it easier. The same way I play guitar, I don't think about playing guitar, I just take it, right? Because it's a habit for me. So Carol has went over the fear of doing stuff and Carol has been researching how to do diagrams from the book and figure out how to do SVG Japanese diagram. Now I have to figure out because, as you guys know, I would like to have book with both kanji and international pieces. Karen need to figure out how to do international pieces. We try to make a font of show. Okay, I don't know if I can show you guys. I, I really would like to. Where is the pawn? I need a pawn. To copy a pawn. So. Um, Notepad. Where are you, Notepad? Can you guys see the Notepad? You can. You see the phone? It's very tiny. Thank you, Melkor. So this is... I'm copying the kanji for the pawn, and it shows it as a pawn. Like it's a normal font. I edited the whole font to show the pawn. It's kind of crazy. Like if you really want to, we could go like, you know, make a whole font out of it. I mean, does it, as you see, it's not centered properly because it's my first time doing it. But it could be easy now generating, could be like a step closer to generating SVG because I just changed the font. And I'm going to change the font and you're going to see that um it becomes a pawn magic yeah and then i go back to my font i don't need to change anything i just change the font right magic <laughs> anyway um so yeah Caro has been working and also figure out like there's this kindle create or something like that which doesn't use svg which is confusing which also i wanted to see what kind of diagrams they make in this book and it seems like it's generated, it's not a picture, this diagram, right? So that's interesting. Maybe they also use SVG? This is how SVG works, you can select it actually. Interesting, huh? Eh? By the way, I also noticed a lot of shogi diagrams online are squares, but um, I'm gonna enlighten you guys that shogi board is a rectangle actually um, so let's see if my navi has the proper it's a ruler has the proper the bottom on my screen is 13 and a half and the side is 13 and a half it's a square <laughs> or is it like a millimeter off maybe it's like millimeter off Yes, it's like millimeter off, I think. Maybe two millimeters, one millimeter off. It's rectangle. I don't have a publisher. No, it's, 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 it's one millimeter off, it's correct. Oh, is it? Uh, yeah, it is. So that's good, because my eyes can notice if it's square. This doesn't trigger me. Anyway, 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 and I will show. Okay, I will just quickly show you how a square looks like, and then you guys will tell me. Do you see that it's square? Um, here. Compare this to. this hi spinal top this is square this thing is square so guy figure out how to make it less of a square this is not square <laughs> anyway <laughs> That's what I've been doing yesterday. I 
big gay suit even now. Yeah, I know, right? So this one is comfortable because there's this one millimeter difference. Yeah. And also it makes the font show correctly for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, the the square board had the font like spread out a little bit. The the, the kanji was like fatter. I know, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Fat pieces. All right, uh, so we already checked this. Uh, condition of making killer piece is to, of course, we learned to have a check ability. Okay. I'm afraid it shows the answer again. Yeah. So, both of the castles won't have a gold in a second. What should we do? What should we do? Oh, and there's a new topic, which means a new technique, which is called absorption, suction, the attraction. Um, absorption. That's a really AKA suck it. <laughs> suck it technique. No, no, deflection was a different technique. What pieces in our hand? None. Zero. The enemy also have zero. But they have the ability to create token. Right? We don't have that ability. Ta, 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 ta. Should I zoom in? Kind of cuts the left side of the board. And my guitar is also getting better. I've learned. I don't know if you guys know the, the, the song Asturias. I learned the beginning of the song, which I'm proud of. Of course, the song itself is like super difficult, so I'm not gonna learn the whole thing, but achieved something for now. Yeah, yeah just the beginning, just the, ta -ra -ta 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 -ta, you know, like the, um, the beginning, before the, brr, brr, brr. Yeah, I know, I know. I, I, I actually Googled that. Yeah, it was a piano piece, yeah. But everyone agrees it sounds better on guitar. Jean can actually play it like most most of it. Um it's also imp very impressive. Um but uh, yeah. I'm gonna try to learn another classic piece that's easier. I, that's actually manageable for me, uh, which was romance or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jean, Jean is pretty impressive. He plays guitar for many years, so. But he still, I think he still said he cannot manage all of, like, all of the Asturias. I think he said. Um, I didn't ask him to play the whole thing, but. Yeah, <laughs> it's quite a heavy piece to play. Romance, the popular one. All right. Yeah, I, I have the book somewhere, but yeah. Anyway, so guys, 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 what about this problem? The suck it problem. <laughs> um, hey, we have to make it entertaining, okay? For our brains to not get bored, we have to make it entertaining. Viradin says silver takes six to silver retakes gold eight two. If king seven three knight seven seven, that's really interesting, Viradin. Really interesting. But what if they m take the gold and create a token? How do we win in that case? Do we have enough pieces to win? Because it's not a checkmate threat, right? Their token creation actually is pretty um, threatening.
Actually, I have no idea what could be the answer. Read suck it. All right, there. <laughs> Here we go. Take the gold and place it on six five nine. What if they take the gold on six two then? With the check Milkal. If you take it with this gold, this one is unprotected. If you take it with this one, it's like they just ate your gold for free, right? Unless it's part of your plan. Guys, you're negative. You guys know, you know the Polish saying, the hungry thinks about the bread. Yeah, like if, if you want to fail, you're going to think about failing. If you think about sucking, you're going to think about... <laughs> Instead of looking at this very professionally written name of the technique, you are looking at this one, which is even crossed out twice. Yeah. Tak. Tak, we have no piece in hand. It's not. It's not. It's the infinity. It's not young. It's uh, they know. But it's with all. They know. This is infinitive form. To know. They know. The funniest kind of endgame player is the endgame player who insists under any circumstance that the game sh should try to go back to the middle game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I realized I scrolled it too much up. Okay. So they're saying that um, if you were to simply attack and take it and take it and go drop, they have silver drop. 5-1, which will attack your dragon and probably lead to Senishta, I guess. So we don't have time to attack, yeah? Then we would also like to consider this move because it's cool, we take then we make a token, yeah? Then we would be one general up. But in that case, they're gonna take the gold, gold takes and pound promotion, they're gonna be one move faster. So those are two things that this page explains. Um, whoop. Those are those two things that the page explains. Yeah, they are. They make their own talking faster. Um, I have an idea. <laughs> um, any ideas, guys? Or should we reveal it? Silver seven nine. If talking, then gold takes five, five eight. I believe. If knight takes, gold takes. Wait for them to give us knight. Then nothing. <laughs> I'm trying crazy stuff like pawn seven five. So remember, it's about <laughs> absorption. Absorption. I think we have to eat the night, guys. So this is the bad example, right? It's an uh, example of Saint Ishtar. Um So we took this the, the gold. Um, they took the gold, then we drop, they drop. From this position, because it attacks our dragon, we would like to 
speed up, right? We take, take, drop again, they drop again. In this situation, um, it's a loop, it's a singed loop, a draw loop, it makes sense. So uh, just a reminder that if you were to make check on every move, like check, they take, check, they take, check, they take, or something like that, that would be illegal. But in this case, we have this in-between move, which is take, take, and drop. This is not a check. And they drop. This is legal, cinched, because it contains of one check in between. Not all moves are check, which is OK. Um, so yeah, if we drop the gold here, the king escapes. If we were to escape the dragon in this situation, they're gonna take and speed up their attack. So we don't have the pleasure of escaping here, the time to do so. So Sente doesn't have many pieces to attack. And it seems like we have no way to punch the enemy core to attack. So we need support here. Tum, tum, tum. <laughs> okay, I didn't see this one. Okay. Okay, so diagram 12. Diagram 12, no piece can be taken. Like, no piece is falling, I guess. You can for free. So, no supplement of pieces. It's not the English word, but we have no way of getting pieces, yeah? But King 7-7 seven, seven is the solution. Okay. Why? If God does nothing, we can play this bomb. Because they have to do something, they're gonna take the gold, gold takes, pawn promotion. But since we've moved the king up already, talking to 6-8 won't become a check. So in this case, knight promotion gives us the knight, right? Oh, in this case, it's the only move. It's forced. We force them to do it. Yeah? Because of that, later on, knight 6-5 becomes the winning move. Hello. In this way, uh, we defend, we step back and defend. As a result, we kanji <laughs> get a piece which we call absorption. Store, stock up, accumulate, accumulate. Okay. So defend plus um, store a piece, save up, set us, build up, building up pieces in hand, I guess, piece reserve. 
that's going to be our absorption. The circuit technique. Yeah, if we give them the gold, if we give them the silver, like generally speaking, this gives them a piece, this keeps the pressure going, so it's better. So the king escape, what's worth mentioning, um, they got the speed doesn't change. Yeah, we didn't slow them down or anything, but as a result, we got the knight in hand. And that helps us to have a stronger attack. And this is why, you know, end game is a little bit like defense. It's very confusing sometimes. Should you defend, should you attack? Yeah, in this case, defense was the correct option to attack. So, um, no speed change. But material change. I mean, you also have to notice that they got a gold in hand, but it doesn't help them to protect, in fact. Yeah. So, um, I would like to look at the first diagram and look at it again, if we can understand the technique behind it. But first I'm going to read this. If they will defend with a gold drop, we're going to take off this silver. King takes, take unpromoted, gold takes, silver drop here. Um, no defense. It's a little bit confusing, but let's see. They will have zero pieces in hand, then we give them a knight and a silver. Um, we take a silver and a gold, and then we have one gold left. But it's not enough. It's not enough to checkmate him, but in the result we will have checkmate threat. How is our king surviving? Is the queen? We can do a hishi with pound push, I guess. So we will survive, yeah. Um, okay, next is what if they push the edge pawn? Then we take the silver king takes, we take the gold king runs, and then the same pawn push will lead to our victory. All right, so pawn push is the critical move here that we should be seeing already because it's the cobo move. Yeah. So let's come back. Let's take a look at this position again. And if we were to talk about the absorption technique, do we now see that this piece is a critical piece for us? Ugh, I'm doing something wrong. Edit, redo, redo. Okay, and then do this. No, do this. Do we see that this piece is a critical piece? But the king actually also is like this technique of I'm gonna checkmate you with my king. Um, we put the pressure of this king escape, and also we escape this check. So it kind of combines with the previous win condition. They're not able to create a check. It's a very, very difficult example, I think. So this move forces this move, but this is the calculation. We are supposed to learn about the conditions. The condition is, once we drop the knight, they have no check. And we have a very severe attack on their core. Which gives us the edge. It We still need to read those variations that we did previously with the pound 9-4 or like gold 6-1. Shaggy is difficult because of it. But the fact they don't have a check, our king is closer to them. Um... We have additional piece to support our attack because we absorbed it. That's the most important here. I also like it over the silver. I, I was thinking of the silver move as well, but we all agree like King is so much more effective. Yeah. Okay, let's try next one. C4. 
so. We have a knight and three pawns in hand. They have bishop, knight and lance. This is the end game, right? The king's castle are quite broken. Well, broken, like infiltrated. We have a dragon here infiltrating their castle. They have a bishop here and a knight here infiltrating our king position. Um, and because we have only a knight in the attack, we start with the feeling that Santa doesn't have enough pieces to attack. So the first idea would be uh, hello, does it say how many moves that Sume has? So this is not Sume, thank Huang. This is uh, find the proper move. In this particular chapter, we're finding moves that absorb. And the meaning of absorption is we somehow take the pieces we need to finish off the enemy king. It may seem we don't have enough pieces right now, but because of this amazing technique, we will have the final win here. Um, so we have to figure it out. What's the good move? And it's not going to be a tsume. Mika says, I want to defend with pawn 7-7. Seven, seven. Okay. Um... Okay, so the first example they give us, we need more pieces, so maybe we're gonna play this move, pawn drop to two four, and once we get a metal piece in hand, it's gonna be easier to checkmate. But speaking from the conclusion, that pawn is not going to work because, as Mikhail noticed, there's a knight drop here, um, and the king is forced here. After this, they have a bishop drop here. And they're gonna be faster. Because, you know, us having a silver, even though we eat the silver, they eat this god. I think that's the faster line? Or is there another move that I'm missing? Lance drop, maybe? What is the move? I'm so confused right now. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Um, dragon plus knight, not enough. We need more pieces. So that's the, our first thing. Um, never heard of such books in English. Well, like, this is exactly why we're doing these streams, because there are no such a books in English. And we're doing this effort to translate it on stream, because Japan, this, this particular book in Japanese, it's so amazing. Um, yeah, that, that's our starting point here. So knight drop, if king goes here, we drop the bishop, you know, we take the god as a mate. If the king goes here, we drop the bishop. Um, they say gota is fast, but my I'm stubborn and I need to know how exactly. I don't see it. They probably explained it on the next page, so we could could just go there, but I'm stubborn. Uh, 
Uh, seal with nine by seven. Yeah, that's that's a good point. Then they escape. Then then we take the gold. Give them a lens, but it's not enough. If the silver takes, we just take with the knight as well. Mm, I think you're right. Yeah. I mean, the simples would be we make a hishi on the king. When the king is here, our bishop is here, and we promote this one here. It's simple enough. All right, thanks, Mikhail. No, no, I mean after. So knight, king down, bishop drop, they take the silver, we drop the lance, the king runs, we promote the lance, the king runs, we take the god. If the king takes, we move the bishop, he goes here, we promote, and it's a hishi. Oh, wait, we have a lance here, actually, too. Might speed us up a little bit. Yeah, actually, this might be too already because of that lens. Just the gold drop, take the silver, takes uh, horse. Yeah, it's a mate already in that case. But if uh, promotes, king runs, takes, silver takes, we have silver bishop, um, whatever. <laughs> I I think just the bishop going, the, drag, the the horse going here is already checkmate threat by a knight drop, so it should be working. Anyway, it's gonna lead to a hishi, yes. What's bishop promotion? Boink. Okay. Um. Yeah. So this doesn't go well, pound to four, because there is a night drop. All right, so that's that's our starting condition. Um, we would like to get more pieces, but simple two four pound doesn't work as we just in complicated way established. We need to use some absorption technique. Previously, the move was king seven seven, which was, you know, avoid the check. Uh, for them to give us more pieces. Um, question is, will the same trick work here? Or do we have something else? Or Questions, questions. There's one cool move that I might want to try. But it doesn't work. Mm, what do we need? What is our Kira piece? That's another question, right? Previously it was the knight. Um, Mika said 7-7 seven, seven pound drop would be interesting. You think it's too passive, okay? It needs to be some kind of magic because we need to make the distance too without giving much material. That's true. Yeah, silver for a knight here, it seems interesting because it's like the typical absorption. I'm gonna take your knight, like, yeah, but um, the question is. Does the situation change if we have two knights? Um, is there a chance to deflect the gold next to the king? So if you're talking about pound drop seven four, gold takes. What does it change? Would be the question, yeah. Hmm. 
We need more pieces. I wonder if it's something silly like this move. Oh, that would be nasty. Or this. Oh, that would be weird. No, it cannot work, can it? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Is it pawn drop three seven attacking the bishop? Um, then we would end up in the previous variation with lands drop to five seven. Oh, but uh, I see what you mean. So, bishop drop six nine previously was a threat, but in that situation we would be able to take the bishop, which means that dot 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 we can do something. I don't know exactly what. But having a bishop might enable our attack, yeah? This, this feels like it's going to be a very long variation, honestly. But hey, we're almost at the end of the book. This is... Yeah, it's checkmatey, but... <sighs> That's true, actually. Is it? Yeah, it is, actually. Yeah, 5-1. If they go to 7-1, we just take the gold. If they go to 7-2, we just make a check. What if they go to 6-3? We take the gold. Drop the pawn. Barely, barely. Yeah, probably it leads to a mate. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so your idea is pound drop 3 7. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be an amazing move if that's true. All right, shall we, shall we look? Shall we look? I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at it. Okay, so they explained the previous variation, so it's no spoiler yet. They're explaining that variation that we talked about with pound of 2-4. Um, Bishop takes the gold is actually a checkmate threat. Okay, I'm stupid. It is. It is. My, it has to be. Yeah, it is. Now, if, because bishop drop takes, takes, if we take here, king escapes, they survive one move. So once more, center wants pieces. But once more, we cannot simply go for taking pieces because our king cannot survive. So, plan. Take pieces. Pound drop to four. Our king doesn't survive long enough. Enough. Point two. Absorption. Absorb. What do we absorb? All right. Uh, there's also this variation saying how is it a mate with lens drops like bishop bishop lens takes takes gold king takes lens promotion so this lens indeed is used in that line now if you were to move the gold back in this position lens drop wins okay so It is the answer. Pandro Frisa. Yellow, you crazy. <laughs> Amazing. So again, the killer piece. I actually saw this position in my mind, funnily enough, but in different line, I guess. Killer piece will be the bishop. 
and we need to keep King safe, yeah? Therefore, attacking the bishop, bound of 3 7, is the thing. If we chase the bishop away, our king becomes safe. In that case, pound drop 2 4 will be good enough. So, pound drop 3 7, bishop escapes, pound drop 2 4. So, th this would get benefit us greatly compared to the previous variation. Now, what if they go aggressive? Because it might happen that this move looks defensive, but they are fast enough. If they drop the knight, king escapes lens drop. Uh, we arrive with diagram 18. In this case, we are safe enough. Once more, the bishop cannot really escape in this situation. Yeah, they're pressuring our 5-8 square a lot, but we answer naturally it's good enough. Um, if we were to escape here, they would promote the bishop and create another pivotal piece. We would prefer them to escape here rather than here, therefore it would be uh, not good for us. So, once more, we manage, in this case, if they exchange the pieces, we get pieces while keeping king safe. So again, I don't know if you notice, guys, all those moves are forced moves. The absorption... I have no idea how to write this word. Absorption means you force force them to move forced moves yeah in the previous variation we force them to give us the knight because if they don't they're gonna be too slow in this variation we force them to give us the bishop because it's gonna become useless if they don't so it's kind of like cobo it's the same feeling yeah uh, but same feeling but what's different Kobo was more middle game. This is more end game. This is about the killer piece. One mistake will cause the whole game. Yeah, previously we said, oh, chasing away Kobo is a good move. But here it matters so much more. Yeah, it's the end game Kobo kind of. We distract this piece activity or eliminate it. It's important here. This is why piece activity is so important, guys. Because, yeah, this move. Just chasing away the bishop, this becomes a winning move. All right, so once more, we use the absorption technique to defend while getting the more pieces in hand to the reserve. This is a very efficient way to do it. But, um, Kak has a need for good scout. Please be careful that if you use the absorption technique without having the condition so the condition was i don't know if you remember the check and having kp if you use the absorption without it um together if you use without it the enemy will be able to attack you like with no fear, right? Because you won't have a counter. In this example, the dragon on 4 1 is our condition because it allows us to attack and therefore use the absorption. So, this cute dragon over here allowed us to defend in the way we did. So defense works only if you have a threat. Uh, 
I guess the absorption defense works only if you have a threat. Yeah, it is it is difficult. My head is right now if Zeta then Elif then Kovo then Elif then Esric is Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's like so those are just techniques. And haha, we have to absorb them first. And then we start to notice them in pro games. We are like, oh, that's why he did it. Yeah. Normally we wouldn't know why did he drop three seven pawn? Doesn't make sense. But now we know that oh, because he has dragon on four one, and if only he has this bishop in hand, he will be able to attack. But he also slows down the enemy attack. So now we can explain it in our brain, right? Then of course these three steps forward would be oh, we can use it in our own game. Actually, that's a neat way to condense the book. <laughs> um, actually, there is much more than that in the book, unfortunately. It started by the definition of what is an endgame, yeah? And then it went deeper and deeper and deeper. And now we're like deepest possible in the endgame theory. Oh my god, yeah. All right, so uh, in this position, they took the knight, the gold took, uh, this gold took, knight, bishop, king took. Um, we got a bishop in hand, so bishop dropped to 5 1, as Eon noticed. King runs, takes, takes. Um, dragon check, knight drop. And pawn drop will be the end of the enemy king. Okay, so bishop. This is our killer piece, yeah. Okay, guys, uh, this is the end of this chapter. There will be some computer examples. Maybe we can do one more. And then this chapter will end. And then, de facto, this is where the book ends. This is like a addition to it. will be about how to turn the table around. So the question is, do we want to try to finish it today? Or would you guys prefer to do it next week? Because there's a lot of theory here. Maybe it's a big summary. Maybe we should do it next week. But how do you feel, guys? I mean, this was already quite complex. Almost, yeah. We definitely gonna do one more example here. So we have Elmo versus Thai Gorilla X. Uh, as you can see, the enemy just promoted this rook somewhat. We don't know from where. And, but our king is not in checkmate right yet. Because there's a rook here, and a bishop here, and a bishop here, and a gold here. Therefore, we can choose an attacking move. But instead of attacking, we had silver drop here. And this is what we explained in chapter 3.1. 3.1. Oh my god, 3.1 is like super far away. 3.3, air supremacy. 3.2, multiple post move. 3.1. Choosing to attack or defend, defense. Okay. So in this case, um, it looks like we decided that they're faster, so we defended. But actually, this move has the additional offensive meaning. Best not to rush. Brain freight at 1 a.m. Gotcha. So, attack or defend. Defend. Or. If we have a rook in hand, 
guys remember? If the condition, if we have the rook in hand, what do we have? Rook drop to six two, right? We would be having a checkmate. So our killer piece is a rook. So they cannot give it to us. In the actual game, the dragon ran to eight five. But this move is not very multipurpose move. So dragon eight five is not multiple pause. Move therefore it's um weak in a way, right? Um But it says it's a severe choice. I don't know what it means. Like it's severe for them, I guess. KP If we attack the KP, we force them into defend defense situation, forcing them into play poor quality moves. So remember, guys, we talked about multi-purpose moves and um, attacking defensive moves as a result. Uh, but by forcing them to play defend defend moves we force them to lower the quality of their move force them to play low quality moves low quality defend only moves we talked about those moves are the worst one you can get, right? We need to have multi-purpose. Okay, so here we talk about the checkmating variation. If they go here after rook, the silver comes in, the king goes here. Uh, nine drop king goes here. We'll take this piece. Card takes, card drop, king runs, take this, and it's gonna be a checkmate. It's crazy. <laughs> Trust me, it's gonna be a checkmate. It's crazy. All right. Um, 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 um. Okay. That was the example. Okay. Maybe we can do one more. One more. In diagram 22, this is the last one. Diagram 22, we don't have a mate on the enemy king, even though we have like <laughs> lots of pieces here. We have only three pawns in hand. We don't have a mate. Santa, on the other hand, uh, this move will be problematic. Because there's a knight here protecting the square, and we don't have a piece to block it with. But we have a cool technique here, which is a lure technique, which is gold 7 9. If the gold takes, the king suddenly receives those squares here as a space to run. And the checkmate thread disappears. Um, as a result, they didn't take the gold. They made a check. King went down. Takes, takes. Like this. And center become better. So, this is a difficult example, but let's push Sente wins. Why? Because silver 7-7 seven, seven in this position means we can take it, take it, and magically, because we have gold and silver in hand, this becomes Tonshi. 
sudden death. The KP in this situation is gold, silver together as a pair KP. So because we got this, this will lead to Tsume. Magically. Magically. You have like what? Three generals in hand? What's going to happen? This king's gonna get chased away and the silver is waiting, so it's gonna push it back and kinda checkmate him. Um, okay, so this is gonna be a checkmate, and again, either checkmate or turn, because they cannot attack, they cannot attack. So either they find a slower attack, or they give us the speed, the material in hand. So again, this is the conditions. Conditions mean we can defend by threatening something. Yeah, they say gold drop seven seven two. So it's like take, 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 and gold drop will lead to a checkmate. Um if we have one more, that Sumi will yeah, leave. So killer piece is gold, we get the killer piece by Turing it out or extend our king life, they didn't touch checkmate. Whoa. <laughs> All right, guys. So next time you, I hope, next time you see a move like this, you're not going to get as surprised in a game that you're watching. You're going to notice that, oh, it's the killer piece, yeah? Um, hopefully that will open up some doors for you. Uh, next week I'm still here. I'm gonna go on a... Am I here next week? Yes. In two weeks I'm going on a small vacation, which is in the honeymoon. Because we decided to push it back in time. But vacation, so next week let's try to finish this chapter. And... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, This is too much to finish it in one sitting. Or maybe, maybe we should try to finish it. Maybe we'll try to finish it. We will see. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, thanks for coming. I will see you on Saturday when we're going to have... Um, uh, casual study. I hope to start. I need to write down the TTS rules on the page, update it, and I'm planning to start the registration somewhere this week until Sunday, hopefully. I know the teaching games are at the end of the month, but that's unfortunate. Uh, we're gonna have both at the same time. One and two two weeks, one and a half week of registration seems tight, but we decided we have this gym battle, the beginner tournament maybe we're gonna have as well. Um maybe we should do beginner tournament on Lishogi. It's easier to arrange it without the D miles. 
yeah, we're gonna do stuff like this. So I'm gonna be working on it today. Thanks so much. You have too much, too many proc books. Well, I'm I'm kind of curious how the Kubo Fuji game will go. Yeah, the Anaguma versus Four Fire Rook. I I didn't see it yet. Um, yeah, I'm gonna. We should definitely watch a few pro games this week. Waiting for your links as usual, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, have a nice Thursday and yeah, one more day to survive on the Friday. Good luck. See you next time. Bye bye.